Hi there. Uh, today I'm looking at the third sutta in the um, Majjhima Nikaya, and this one's entitled Dhamma Dayada Sutta, uh, which has been translated by Bhikkhu Bodhi and Nam Nanamoli as the is in the Dhamma. Um, and the key phrase being used uh, when the Buddha addresses the monks is be my ears in Dhamma, not in material things. Um, and basically, I think the concern is that with the growth of the uh, Buddhist sect in northern India, the worry is that the, um, the Sangha, the, community, the Buddhist community, um, will become quite lax and um, move into an area of um, luxury and benign neglect of the Dhamma. And um, what Buddha is basically saying is um, stick with the Dhamma and not in material things. And he takes um, uh, an example which uh, as Bhikkhu Bodhi says in his commentary, does appear to be extreme. That um, he says, if I, uh, the Buddha says, if I'd finish my meal, and there's some leftover food, <clears throat> which I was going to throw away, just dispose of, and two monks who were hungry came to me, and I said, and wanted to, and um, wanted to help themselves to the food, or invite them to the food. The one, the monk who refused the leftover food, uh, was a better person than the one who took the food. Um, you could say it was leftover food, so what's the point? But I think uh, the Buddha's really trying to say, not going to put words in his mouth, but um, the person who doesn't look to luxuries and an easy way of life would probably be better in the, uh, be a bit better in the Sangha. But the interesting thing is, after about uh, about paragraph um, six, I think it is, um, no, sorry, until paragraph four, uh, Buddha then departs, and uh, one of the followers, Saraputta, takes over, and he uh, re-emphasizes this: "Be my ears in Dhamma, not in material things," but um, makes it more personal um, by. Um, saying that the uh, monk community, the Sangha, uh, should be very careful about backsliding and living in luxury um, and that the, uh, the problem doesn't lie necessarily with an individual monk with a community but the whole community, the senior monks, the middle monks, the junior monks, um, all of them to take responsibility and uh, should not uh, start backsliding and moving into luxuries. Uh, basically it's saying live secluded and train in seclusion. Um, and the way to keep at bay the, the backsliding, was the word being used, the backsliding and living luxury, is to follow the eightfold path. So um, Basically, there are 16 defilements of the mind, 16 defilements of the mind that Saraputta mentions, which is um, anger, resentment, contempt, insolence, envy, avarice, deceit, fraud, obstinacy, rivalry, conceit, arrogance, vanity, negligence, or heedlessness. And this is resolved by following the Eightfold Path. So, basically, it's saying do, uh, re emphasizing the point that the Buddha made about um, moving to material things and, and um, basically stick to the Dharma and to follow the Dharma, follow the Eightfold Path of right view, right intent, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. Thanks for watching. Cheers.